About 100 people have gathered outside Tottenham Police Station in North London. They're protesting against the inquest conclusion this week that the shooting dead of Mark Duggan by armed police in 2011 was lawful. That shooting sparked riots that were copied around England. Today, Mr Duggan's family said they wanted to show they are not the gangster family they're being portrayed as. Our Home Affairs correspondent Darshna Sonny is there. Darshna. Well, the, the vigil ended in the last half hour or so, Krish, with Mark Duggan's family telling the small crowd that had gathered here that Tottenham should be proud of itself today, the community here, for holding such a peaceful protest. There are still perhaps around two dozen people milling around, and the real test now for the police is whether they can persuade them to go home quietly and quickly. A small crowd gathered at Tottenham Police Station, far fewer than had been expected. Mr Duggan's family gave speeches, explaining that this wasn't about the 29-year-old's character and whether or not he was a gangster, but rather about holding the police and the IPCC to account. His aunt called for dignity and calm. Please, 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 let's do it respectfully and calmly. Of course. And let's try and leave this road with something in our hearts. The family say they cannot accept Wednesday's verdict, which led to angry scenes outside the High Court. No justice! No police! It's been reported that the inquest jury has had to be offered police protection after finding that Mr Duggan was lawfully killed by officers, although he was unarmed when they fired. The jury decided he'd been travelling with a gun but had thrown it from his taxi moments before. A lot of people are saying that Mark Duggan was a sinner, not a saint. Well, that's exactly why there's a vigil today. A lot of people are saying a lot of things without being cognizant of the facts. Today, the family of Mark Duggan have called for this vigil so that the community can show our level of contempt for that verdict that was given in, at the inquest the other day. The Metropolitan Police says an operation is in force across London in case of trouble. A vigil here two years ago when Mr Duggan was killed led to widespread rioting. Then the force was criticised for being caught unaware. Well, Darshna, given what happened in 2011, how have the police approached today? Well, it's been very interesting to watch the police tactics today. They have been out in force, but you wouldn't necessarily know it because they've been very discreet about it. So, for example, I've spotted lots of police vans parked up around the corners, so they are on standby, but they're out of sight. And during the vigil, I saw them using the stewards, who are all supporters of Mr Duggan's family, using them to approach the crowd and deal with any potential flashpoints, rather than directly approaching members of the public themselves. And that seems to have been working. The real test, however, will be at around 10 to 5, when the Spurs match ends. The police have said that they want to avoid any potential clash between football fans and the crowds here. And so they've got measures in place to make sure that the fans don't pass through this route. Um, so far, they say, their tactics have been working. They say they have learnt the lesson from two years ago. But now that it's starting to get dark, Chris, we'll have to wait and see what happens in the next few hours. Thanks, Darshna.